Well, certainly technology is changing rapidly. The ability to implant sensors in rubbish bins, street lights, uh, in our cars, throughout our phones, and uh, throughout our entire urban systems means that we will have a new language uh, of binary digits communicating in real time. This will see a, a new operating system of cities uh, where we will be able to control resources, uh, understand how cities work uh, in real time and make more informed decisions about the future of our cities. Uh, I have to admit the opportunities are almost endless and many are yet to be even imagined, but certainly as we become connected uh, through a geographical space in a digital environment with our phones, we will be able to interact with our cities in an entirely new way that will increase productivity, improve livability, and help us manage resources and be much more sustainable. Well, Adelaide's like many cities in the car dependency paradigm, and we are trying to generate a conversation around integrated transport. Uh, we really are seeing cities becoming increasingly dependent on the vehicle, which in itself um, is uh, an economic cost in terms of car congestion, a cost in terms of the price of fuel, uh, and also means that we are facing obesity. Uh, in fact, obesity is now overtaken smoking as the biggest killer of Australians. One in four Australians are now uh, obese, and one in three Australians are overweight. So we really must start to talk about increasing densities, creating walkable environments, encouraging people to use public transport, uh, walk more often and uh, also use a bicycle. So uh, we are building more roads, we're not investing enough in public transport and we really need to change that whole conversation about how people move through our cities to increase livability, productivity and sustainability. Well, I've discovered this wonderful technology that can help you lose weight, save money, uh, get through a city more quickly. Uh, it makes you happier. It will make you live longer uh, and also makes the city a much more attractive place, more cosmopolitan. Uh, and the evidence suggests uh, it means people spend more money in local shops. It's called cycling. Uh, we are uh, tackling an obesity epidemic in the Western world and we have all become used to driving everywhere. That's creating car congestion, uh, reducing the productivity of our cities, uh, making the amenity of our cities less attractive, and the idea of encouraging people to be more physically active, uh, reduce the congestion on the roads uh, by riding a bicycle. Uh, the evidence is clear, and I'm just like every mayor in the world that is promoting integrated transport, where you can choose between driving a car, using public transport, walking and cycling. Uh, and I believe that the electric engine will change mobility of cities, including electric assisted bicycles. So you may be old, you may be unfit, or, or you may even have an injury, but you can use an electric bicycle to extend your range and get from A to B. And of course, when you get to your destination, you can park right outside the front door. Well, change is difficult. Uh, everyone wants progress, but uh, the change is, is challenging. Uh, we need to make cycling safer in our cities, which means putting in separated bicycle lanes. In Australia, uh, we sell more bicycles than cars in our country every year. 80% of Australians have a bicycle. Only most don't ride it because it's not safe. So we need to put in separated bicycle lanes, and that change has been a challenge for small businesses. So we must engage them in a conversation that cars driving fast past their shops don't spend more money, but that cyclists who live locally can see the displays in their windows, uh, can stop at any time and park right outside the shop, shop front, and will actually stop more regularly and purchase more goods. I'd absolutely commend the Singapore government on the vision and foresight to have the World City Summit. Uh, the very nature of establishing uh, a, a garden city, uh, as well as having a long-term strategic plan where the federal government is also the city government, 
uh, has been a visionary exercise that has been the cornerstone of the success of this great nation. To express it through the World City Summit and bring leaders from the world to mix together, not only with other leaders, but also employees and leaders in Singapore, means that we can share from uh, each other, learn from Singapore's experiences, but importantly, Singapore can learn from experiences around the world. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to talk about uh, the future of cities, which will not be like the past. And it's great to see so many important businesses, technology businesses, infrastructure businesses, as well as consultants supporting this uh, conference. Uh, I'm an enthusiastic supporter, and I believe that this conference has positioned Singapore globally uh, in thought leadership when it comes to the future of cities.